took him eight darts and a double, but he got there. Second leg warriors who confirmed game on. Yeah, what a when he sees that's a 21 dart first leg, he, he would think that he should have taken that. I know Smith scored well in the in that leg. Could not take the double out cleanly. Will that just be a little seed in the head of Smith when he gets down to doubles now? Because sometimes it does get in his head, Stu, doesn't it? And then all of a sudden it carries on. Winner to play. 100. Young Caden Milne from Christchurch. What a parry, you know. Never that won a World Series game on home soil. The only victory he's had was that one, would you believe? Eight years ago in Sydney against Michael Van Gerwen. This is his ninth attempt. Won one. Lost seven. 123. They've come from all over New Zealand to watch this. Uh, a whole busload of darts fans arrived at our hotel this morning from Christchurch. That they were enjoying themselves from very early on. One hundred and seventy-four. Ah, now then, Warren. Yeah, this is a good leg. One leg from Warren Parry to level it up. Everybody loves double sixteen. Bad misses. Michael, Smith better. messed around on that first leg. Can he clean it up? He wants double five. And that 77. An absolute one. Why do you require 16? I was thinking, though, the bloke with the camouflage, haven't they come with the wrong camouflage? <laughs> Maybe so. Warren Parry, four World Cups. 100. Four World Championship. You'll get another crack at it. We'll be trying to qualify. The New Zealand World Cup qualifier. Of the South Island in Dunedin in October. Sixty. One hundred. You're about the same age. You'd have played Warren Parry a few times. From my left. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> never played it down this way Six all the years. years ago. Sixty. Michael, you require one hundred and twelve. Needs a combination finish, just something to get him going on the on the doubles. Ninety-three. One out of ten on the doubles, Michael Smith. Yeah, with was on the one eight one. I don't understand why he went that way. Michael players have the sort of sequences in the head. But three for double eight. Eleven. You have to say, yeah, but, well, he likes the 20s and the 10s, so with Warren Perry on 181, why didn't he just I know. set it up for himself? I know, I know, I know, and you're correct. We nearly paid the price. Well, if you remember, it Michael was the bullseye he hit to beat Michael Van Gerwen. Game shot in the yeah, third a little shake of the head. Michael Smith. 
The two young sons were unimpressed with Danny's performance on the doubles. Two out of 14, but he does lead 2 1. Both players are not great on their doubles, but Smith, who's one of the leading players in the world, has got to up that by a considerable amount. His front nine average is not too bad at 106, but the overall average he won't be happy with. Was has just going to hang on like he did against Michael, Michael Van Gerwen all those years ago. He's getting a lot of the first darts low, which is, you know, he's switching there, going low. And that's happening. I just like to Smith, see Smith just over pitch a little bit. Even if he puts it a half inch above the treble, it means he can come down to the 60. Him, but the switching early on is not working for him. Oh, that's a better dart. 100. Just scrappy, isn't it? Just a sloppy performance. Poor on the doubles, pretty poor on the scoring. A 180 machine normally hadn't seen one yet from from Michael Smith. 140. The average is just 82 though. Yeah, we kind of see this from Michael Smith quite often though, Stuart. I mean the amount of ability he's got. <coughs> and he has too many in different games and he's he always gets beaten in those in different games, so he's gonna have to step it up here a bit. This could be the checkout that gets him on his way. 34. Why would you 20? Or not. No, well, he missed loads of darts in the first leg, and that's kind of put him on the back foot. Well, now, <laughs> was a thought when he let go of that, he thought that was definitely in. That's definitely 15. a let off for Smith. Michael, you were Can he take 20? advantage? Do you know what, I think there's an element to the, you, you can't get the feeling Game on. That, that Michael's not being disrespectful, but he knows he's the better player, and he knows he should be winning this game, 100. and he probably knows he will win this game, which is why he's probably off, but if, if he if pushed, you get the feeling that he could, he could raise it, but 55. it's not a good habit to get into, is it? Absolutely not. Well, we see Smith. I mean, that first no, dart was, you know, well thrown, but he's still low. He's got to just get that dart another half inch. And there we have Wazers. He's just as solid as a rock hole was. That good old time dart player. Well, they, they call him the old goat in New Zealand. Darting circles, but that's said with a lot of affection. Because he has... 45. He's done so much to keep it going. Very much led from the front as far as darts in this country is concerned. 96. But we see Smith put in these performances so often, Stuart, and then win, and then go on and play brilliant. As you see that third dart, just not so much a walk on there, but that's where he's... Careless again. Yeah, he's very careless and... I mean, it was a big chance missed, was it? Those darts to go two legs apiece. And the closer he gets to that finishing line and still level with Smith, then obviously the pressure's going to be on Smith more than Parry. Why you apply 110? He's going to get first shot at this to hit straight back. Tops it is. Game Tops it is! is. I tell you what, now Smith has got to wake up. Yeah, you know, he, he is a lovely old fellow, was it? But I don't care who you're playing. You can't show him respect on the dartboard. Show him respect before you get up there when you get off. But actually, when your foot's to the hockey, you do not show him respect. You have to, you know, you want to murder everyone. You just want to thrash everyone. Warren Parry. 60. 
will be thinking here, looking at how poorly his opponent is playing. How about an all New Zealand quarter final against Caden Milne? Well, you know, Was is just going to play his game. He, he is not going to get nervous. He's not going to get flustered. He did miss the du doubles in leg four. But if that, if that had gone instantly, Smithy would have been in big trouble. But like you know good. what? I, I, you said, that, sorry, you, know, you just mentioned earlier on that Michael is kind of going along. But you kind of get the feeling that all of a sudden Smith's going to pull on his throat and start smashing the treble 20. If he doesn't, with the switch there, I think was out of frustration as well, more than anything, simply because the first dart is dropping low. All the time. Yeah. All the time. On the treble 20. That's a bad visit. That is a real bad visit. Now, Smith. Here we go. Here we go. 100. The last two visits have had two big trebles. That's not six darts without a treble or a major treble. I was going to say the last two visits haven't had a haven't had a one from Warren. All the nineteens for one two six. Four of those nineteens will leave a bullseye. Will leaves the bullseye. 86. Michael, you require 40. Game from the six leg. Michael Smith. Well, that double top, Steve, was a good, what? Seven leg, Michael Smith. Half inch, three quarters of an inch away. Game on. Well, he's not playing at all well. And you can see there, trying to cheer himself up, he's winning. He's winning 4-2. He's getting fr uh, frustrated as well, isn't he? Just you can see that, yeah. And of course, that tightens the arm up a little bit. And, and then with Michael, he does tend to just move a little bit when he's throwing. 140. You say 100. Warren Parry, as he always has, will just go on his, his merry little way, won't he? 134. Smith does start to up his scoring a little bit more. And when we say he's off the mark, he's off the pace, he's way off. Way off here, Michael Smith. 100. But he's a sort of player, it doesn't affect him day on day does it i mean he might not he may get through this and not have a great average but that won't upset him tomorrow because if he gets out in the first leg tomorrow and, and throws a, a 12 data you know that then he's going to be a force to reckon with but treble 17 here and he wants the bullseye this is the third time he's had a dart at the bullseye and the closest he's got yes it was the closest we talk about how poorly he's playing it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if he won it he won the whole event. 74. But another error! Well, and they're just clocking up. 17 darts missed to the double. Gotta go, Warren. Yes, Does go. Along his very old ways, yeah. I said. I'll tell you what, if Rosa can hold on to his throw strongly here, then all of a sudden. The pressure will be on Smith. Two darts miss for well for five two. Talking, chuggering away, isn't it, to himself, Michael Smith. Well, we see James Wade earlier on, didn't we, against Gordon Mathers? All of a sudden, put it together in the last couple of legs. Match saving, 145 finish. Yeah, that was Changed incredible. everything. 
Mathers on the third should go in 5-3 up. Miss Darts to go 5 Look at that. It's certainly not anything to write home about, is it? I mean, to say that Smith has not clocked up a 180 yet. No, I know he's had a 174. But look at that. 19%. Well, even was is only on 23%. So here's the one that actually could be 4 3 up if it had pinned those two darts 100. in leg four. Well, Warren, uh, they're both averaging 85. You would say Warren Parry's mean average would be around 85 to 90, wouldn't you? So Michael Smith, it's 100. a lot more than, than he's hitting now, mere 85. 140. Chance of another break of throw. Yeah, Watson needs to find a treble here because Smith may go treble seven because he likes the top, but he may go 25. And if he does, he could hit the bullseye. So he's hit the bullseye. Double four now. And the amount of times you see someone go to the 25 hit that bullseye. But was is a long way off. Two tops, two double tops. 71. Michael Eva Clare, four. Game shot in the eighth. Well, I'll tell you Smith. what, last dart in hand. Last dart in hand. And a wide smile. Because he might be getting away with one here. Yeah, it was the penultimate three darts that, that Parry threw that weren't good enough. It didn't get him close enough. 91. He had to have a dart at the bullseye instead of a dart at a double. And now he's hanging on. 90. Fifty-six. Well, I think from Michael Smith's point of view, it, this is either a, a C minus or a D in terms 60. of performance. But at the end of the day, it will probably end up being a pass. Just. Yeah, it's certainly. Um, it wouldn't be an eleven plus, would it? <laughs> a pass. But you know what? We rip him off against Michael Van Gerwen. 70. And he needs to tighten up on darts like that. So Smith has got the advantage. 171. His best visit. His best visit of the entire match. Well, we go back to leg four, Stuart, don't we? When Warren missed two darts of the double to go, make it two legs all. And then from there, he's been chasing. Oh, top tops. 58. Well, he could nearly, nearly winning it in style, which wouldn't really have gone with the performance. But he will return. I don't think we've been harsh on him. We've been hey, honest. He, 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 he absolutely honest, yeah. but we also said that he could turn up tomorrow yeah, and, and, and smash everybody. Yeah. And he gets the job done with a shake overhead. 22 missed starts at double, an average of 84. But a win is a win is a win for Michael Smith in the World Series in Hamilton. And he will face another Kiwi as his boys